Charlotte PrepCon 2012, NC Hill here. Um, this was event was a, two weekends ago in July of 2012. It was in Fort Mill, South Carolina. At the uh, Point Life Church, I do believe is the name, the old uh, Charlotte Hornets uh, training facility out there where the uh, Charlotte Knights baseball team plays in, in uh, Fort Mill, York County. Uh, a couple of vendors on hand got some video of that. Got the Berkey uh, water filters, the big Berkeys, the Berkey bottles, the blue ones up top, uh, some other items. Uh, plenty of uh, buckets for food storage. Uh, had some uh, oh, drying racks, and I guess that was local honey for sale. Um, some O2 oxygen absorbers. I had a good time at this event. It was Saturday, first one in Charlotte. A lot of people showed up. I think almost 600 people. Uh, Thrive, the freeze-dried foods was there. Uh, some good stuff. I like I like the freeze-dried corn myself. The, uh, the apples are good. The uh, orange yogurt is, if you like oranges, it's really good because it's very strong. Uh, just making my way around. Showing what was available. Okay. Uh, here's Carolina Redness Supply. They were there. They got their buckets. Of, oh, that's their uh, Berkey filter. Their plastic bucket. They used the Berkey filter, and they had all the first aid kits and uh, emergency meal kits and uh, number 10 cans there, uh, their normal stuff, if you've ever been to anything that they've hosted, maps, books, airline ready supply up near Black Mountain, North Carolina. Guys, oh, mess up their name. They had a lot of Max Expedition stuff there. Some uh, G code holsters. Uh, some P mags. Uh, I can't remember what their price was on them. I don't think they were really competitive. Blackhawk stuff. Uh, I don't say it's upstate tactical. We'll see here as I turn the corner. I get another picture of the other banner. It's a nice Max Expedition bag. I kind of like that one. I've got an Oakley uh, Messenger bag. It's old, 10 years old, I guess. It's still kicking. So. Yeah, upstate tactical supply. Located right here in the Greenville area. A lot of uh, morale patches, uh, U.S. flag patches, the different varieties, the subdued, the uh, the uh, night vision ones. Uh, solar up, solar up in C. First time I'd seen these guys. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's a solar panel with a portable battery deal going on here. Run drills and it's kind of, uh, yeah. I guess it has a purpose. Um, kind of clunky. I don't know if that. I don't know how much charge you can get out of that panel. So. Moving along here, um, these guys are, uh, I don't want to get their name wrong, the Aiken Preppers, and they have these uh, five-gallon food things. Midnight Preppers, they're from Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, do some uh, fiberglass resin uh, ballistic uh, panels, uh, they had
got a 4x8 sheet of a level uh, 3A ballistic panel. They've added some other things, rain barrels to their uh, stuff. They had a bunch of the... Um, Oh, they had a little thing that you can put in a clear plastic bottle there, and then once it gets 160 degrees, the wax melts. So you know the water's been purified. I, think, I can't remember how long water has to be at 160 to kill all the uh, organisms in it. Uh, they had some... Uh, there he is. He didn't see me filming the first time. He's like, what time did you get here? Like, I filmed you earlier. Uh, they had some uh, the cheap Chinese uh, stuff over here, spec ops and holsters and stuff. And they had some of their personal knives that they weren't using anymore. They were trading and selling. Some more of the uh, freeze dried food. I can yeah, this thrive. Oh, this that's Thrive also. So there were two Thrive vendors there. Just making my way around all the vendors. I heard the green beans were good. I didn't try those. I'm gonna try them next time and see somebody will thrive. I like. I love the corn. It's like a sweet popcorn taste. It's just corn that's been freeze dried. Oh, they had powdered milk. I didn't. Even, I didn't even see that when I was there. Uh. Had some speakers. You'll see those coming up. I listened to some of this. Okay, so the Silver Hill Readiness Center. They are an upstart company. They won't tell me they were up near the Speedway. They're getting ready to open up a facility to do training, self-reliance, tactical defense. Uh, I don't know. I think they were selling this stuff, but I think it was just more of... A display of everything as a, just a, a smorgasbord of stuff you would need. I think some of them had price tags on it. It may have been for sale. Yeah, there's a price tag to Max Edition. I guess they're gonna have a retail store, kind of like. I guess they're gonna be like Carolina Readiness Supply, but have a training facility. They had signups. They're not open yet, from what they explained to me, which I didn't interview them, but. There's supposed to be another uh, Charlotte Prep Con coming up in September. Oh, there's my buddy. There's David Coble. Watch out. There's Scott. Snares. Kind of ass kind of stuff for us guys. Like these water filters. I got to get some. Those water filters are awesome. They're the life straws. David, I'm sure he's talking about pumping some water somewhere. Somebody needs some water. guys had some holsters. They were from Florida. They make they make them themselves, they were telling me. I guess they get some, uh, I'm not sure what type of plastic, and, and mold it to the specific firearm. They also had some other products. They were very nice, very nice couple. A lot of concrete. I didn't want to get anybody's face on camera. Like I said, there were a lot of people. 
that are interested in the uh, self-preparedness and the self-reliance aspect of living, so I didn't want to freak anybody out with putting a camera in their face. So I tried to stick to just the product. They had a couple of crock pots going. It's some freeze-dried food of some sort. And they had some crock pots going and serving out samples. I'll, right here, I'll show you. Play some cheese soup to me. I'm not sure what the coffee filters are for. Guess that was their bowls. Uh, these guys are what are they called? Defensive Concepts, North Carolina. Another training facility, tactics, firearms. JRH Enterprises, uh, awesome guy. If you need a, a, he has a website. If you need military gear, night vision, gas mask. Good guy, competitive prices on his Gen 3 uh, PVS 14, third generation uh, sites there. That's the same guy that uh, Southern Prepper 1 bought his sites from, if you've seen his video. He's got that expensive Katie Dine mini filter, which was only $99.95. I've seen him way higher. I wanted that tactical vest, but somebody beat me to it. While I was filming my video, some a gentleman walks up and starts asking about it and I didn't want to, I didn't want to, I wanted to look at it. I was very inf interested in it and I didn't want to shoot it down. And here's our people, here's our buddies from, uh, I don't want to get anybody's name wrong. So let me wait until we, sh Carolina Water Solutions, I want to say. Ah, uh, yeah, that, you've seen that d display, Carolina Water Tank. You've seen that display on uh, Engineer 775 when he talked about um, creating a, uh, a sp spring in his uh, spring box. And then the uh, last source I'm going to cover is lakes and ponds where, you know, we just put in one gentleman was here. He's got wanting to move water from one lake and move it up to another pond. And, and so floating solar pumps are great for that. Pump starts pumping at 8 in the morning, it doesn't stop to 8 at night, it's just pumping away for free. So that's another a good option. Um, hydraulic rams, out of mine, that's what I use at my, my location. I use a ram pump out of my pump. And so, water sources, let me just talk a little bit more. Uh, just, a lot of people don't realize they can do this. Typically, this picture on the, on the, on the left is a typical domestic home water system with a well. You have your, submersible and your pressure switch in your tanks and then the power goes out and you don't have water. You know, we got several nice emails from folks that bought products or talked to us on the phone or by email in Virginia and West Virginia the last couple of weeks when they lost power for over a week. And if they didn't have water in their location, guess what? They were gone. They had to leave that location. So it's nice to receive those emails. Hey, we didn't have to leave. You know, we have water, whether it was right here. Especially a train, you have a train track near your house, near your retreat, 
if there's an accident, you're going to have to bug out. Granted, a lot of these situations will be a very short-term bug out. It won't be an end of the world or an economic collapse, but you still need to bug out. You'll still be very discomfort. Let's talk about seriously trying to bug out and be lightweight. You probably forget about this and, and go with wood. Because wood's a product we all have. We go out in the woods, you're going to find it. This sterno is nice. If I lived in an apartment, it had very limited space. I might think about sterno and safe to store compared to like a white gas. There's just all kinds. Um, people say I can't prep because I can't afford it. Uh, that's flea market about two weeks ago. That stove was two dollars. So if you're on a fixed budget or a limited budget, you have to be creative. And trust me, flea market is the best place to go. You get a lot of prepping items there. So don't use I don't have any money as an excuse. You still have to prep because you still have to face whatever crisis it is. Um, we make all kinds of camping stoves. Go ahead and cut it. We have one piece of wire. Now, if we were out in the woods, we'd have a little tiny stick about that size, but that's a toothpick to improvise. Take your toothpick, take your wire. Wrap it around there a few times. There's really no science to this. Twist it. Basically, you're making a circle there. Then you're going to break your toothpick. Probably can't slide it out. Probably get it out. Alright. We have a little tiny circle right there. You probably can't see it. We'll take it. Wait. Um, definitely at your, where you work, in your car, in your desk. A nice, good pair of running shoes. So you can hoof it out really quick, um, maybe a windbreaker, but just lightweight common sense things, speed is your ally. My comments. Yes. Good question. Um, I, I talked to the guy that made the Sawyer water filter the other day. He says it's not a big problem inside the United States. If we were outside the United States, viruses would definitely be a worry. Uh, and, and common bleach will definitely kill the virus. So ceramic won't take the virus out, but common bleach will. Yes, ma'am. Correct. I mean, every American should have a carry permit. We sort of do. It's called the Second Amendment. They just don't recognize it anymore. But yes, you need a carry permit. Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. Lights out. And it talks about 